Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video, I bring you Demi Lovato's Pull for the Summer inspired makeup tutorial. I was super inspired by the video when she was in the car or in the club and she had the very dark smoky eye and then the nude lip and she had all this luminous glow going on here, girl. I fell in love with it. I think it's beautiful. I think it's very, very fresh and I feel like it's a very summer go-to look if you're going out for the nighttime. So there's obviously neutral looks, but this one's more on the deeper and darker side. And I am obsessed with this look. I hope you guys enjoy it, and if you are not subscribed already to my channel, then please do so already so we can enter the Madly Witch fam, and you can be subscribed, and you get to know when I upload a video. I will be sharing a whole bunch of pictures on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat, so be sure to follow me down there, and I will leave all the links down below as well. Yeah, so let's go ahead and get into the video. Alright guys, let's go ahead and start. I already have my eyebrows on, and I have my tape, and I have my eyes primed. Start taking the Tartlet palette by Tarte, and I'm going to take a Morphe E14. I'm going to use that first color to basically set all my primer. Taking a Morphe M433, I'm going to take these two colors right here, and I'm going to slowly build up my crease, because you definitely want to build up your crease very very slowly in a smoky eye look and then you can see I do a flicking motion kind of outwards because Demi's eyeshadow is shaped like that and then taking a Morphe E28 I'm going to take that color to deepen up my crease also and then taking a Morphe E30 just to blend everything together so it all looks nice and blended <laughs> Taking the Artist Palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills, I'm going to take the color Blue Velvet because I feel like Demi's um, smoky eye look definitely had a blue undertone into it, so I wanted to add some blue, and I feel like this color was perfect. So I am taking that same flat shader brush from Borfi, and I'm going to apply that color, and definitely apply some Blue Velvet into my crease a little bit, just so everything will blend really, really nicely, and I'm just switching up all my brushes just so everything looks nice and seamless. And then I'm taking this color Coal from the same palette and I'm going to put that right on top just to definitely have the black smoky eye. And I feel like the blue was so helpful because it doesn't look like a basic smoky eye. It looks very nice and blue and has a nice tint to it. So I'm just going to blend everything out, blend the edges, make sure the crease looks normal and everything looks like that, just so we have a nice transition going. And I'm taking the first color with a Morphe A13 and I'm just going to set my brow bone. And then taking an Essence Cold Liner Pencil, I'm just going to line on my lash line and then definitely tight line right under it just because she had a very intense liner. And then just gonna curl your lashes and then apply your favorite mascara. And then taking Coco Goddess lashes and Goddess, and I'm just going to apply those right on top. And I actually did my other eye off camera. And then I'm taking the tape off, and you should have a nice crisp line. Taking Makeup Forever Step One Equalizer in the hydrating. It's going to give us a very subtle glow very hydrating appearance to our skin. Taking the Revlon Color Stay Wet Foundation and the Morphe M439. M439. I'm just going to buff all my foundation out and I'm obsessed with this brush, you guys. This brush blends everything like a dream and you don't look cakey, you don't look thick, and it's my favorite brush. Taking NARS Creamy Concealer in the color Custard, I'm going to highlight heavily. Under my eyes, 
in the middle of my forehead, my nose, cupid's bow, chin, all of that because I also use my concealer to highlight as well. And then I'm taking Morphe's G2 brush and I'm going to blend all of that away because it is my new favorite buffering concealer brush. I'm obsessed. Thank you to Amanda. And then I'm just going to cook or bake my under eyes. And basically I'm putting it everywhere I concealed. And then I just let it sit for five minutes and then I'm just brushing it all off. And then taking that same liner pencil, I'm just going to put that in my waterline and I'm going to drag it a little bit onto my lid. And I'm taking the Morphe M433 and I'm just going to blend it with those two colors that we used in the crease originally. And then I'm taking the little Morphe eyeshadow brush and I'm just going to set that waterline with black and then apply lower lash mascara. And those eyes are done. Taking Too Faced Soulmates Ross and Rachel, I'm going to apply the bronzer all over my face, basically in the cheekbones, the temples, my forehead, um, under my neck, or on my neck I guess, just so I can get bronze and nice and tan. And taking the Betty Luminizer, I'm going to put that everywhere where I put bronzer, but this one is going to definitely deepen up my bronzer. And it's a luminous bronzer, so it's going to give you a nice dewy look like a Demi Lovato had. Can you see that? Oh, it's amazing. As you can see my nose, it looks super dewy, super luminous, and I love it. Taking Hoola from Benefit, I'm just going to contour my cheekbones because you gotta have a strong contour girl. And then I'm also going to contour my nose because I feel like that's my security bank blanket and I just feel like I look better with a straighter nose. And then I'm just going to blend all of that bronzer and contour all together and then I'm going to cook right under my contour. Taking Becca's Champagne Pop with Jack, collaboration with Jaclyn Hill. And then fan brush, I'm going to put that all over where you would naturally highlight on your cheekbones, on top of your eyebrows, your nose, your cupid's bow, your chin. And I'm just going to basically highlight with that and then I'm taking a Morphe M200 and I'm going to precisely add more champagne pop to the very tip and the high points of my face. Just so it'll look extra, extra dewy and glowy and I love it. Taking Gerard Cosmetic Lipsticks in the color Nude, I'm going to take that as my base for my lips, and I'm putting that all over, and then taking Serenity by Mania MUA, which I'm obsessed with, I'm going to put that right on top, and it creates this beautiful, beautiful nude pink lip that matches great with me. Look at that color, you guys. It's so beautiful. I'm just going to brush off some of that cooking powder under my contour, and then I'm just going to spray my face with Max Fix Plus just to intensify that dew, and you are done, girl. Yes. Glowing to the max. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this look as much as I did. I feel like it's an amazing glowy dew look that I am obsessed with. So if you enjoyed this video, please give this video a thumbs up. Just so I know that you liked it and then I can upload more fun looks inspired by people. And if you guys have actual people or requests, please leave them down below in the comments. I subscribe so I know that you guys enjoyed my videos. And be sure to share this video with your friends and family because that would mean a lot to me. And yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!